What up? All right, so we're back. We're going to do another tutorial, uh, options and settings on Twitch and how to sort of go through that as a new user of somebody who's either going to be a follower or a streamer, like a viewer. So um, just to bring this up. So this is the main page after you've already logged in. Again, so when you're on this to the left of the followed channels that you already have, you're going to have recommended channels right after that. And then it shows you how many people are watching those channels. And these are just based on what you watch. Um, and then you can also show more to see who's offline after they've already streamed that day. And you can watch a VOD or a video on demand. Um, now at the bottom, your online friends. If you were to use the offline button on the top right, um, if you turn that off, nobody can see what you're doing. When it's on, they can just see that you're online, but when you share your activity down here on the left, when you're watching somebody, it'll show where you're at and somebody can join you. And these are all your friends that are online, and it'll show you if you're friends with them. You can unfriend like Facebook. You can follow that person right here. will give you the option, I think, to... Uh, I'm not sure if that's notifications. And then you can whisper them as well, which is sending a message. So then over here is the chat for that person. Up at the top is the gift subs. If you want to give somebody a sub for that channel. And it'll show you who's donated or cheered bits. If you want to collapse that chat so you see more of the video, you can do that. You can hit this to subscribe or gift a sub. And then as well, the users in the chat will show you who's on that at the moment. Um, the moderators is the people that are helping that person's channel. Um, the moderators right there are for people that are helping that channel. They have the ability to ban people, time them out, use certain commands, and basically help while they're, they're concentrating on their show. That's what a moderator is. The different users are the websites and things that you can use to as a tool on your page. And then the broadcaster will show you who whose channel that is. All right, so now... At the top, you'll see that I'm hosting Send this beat. Watsky, who is actually, by the way, a rapper that I'm sure you might have seen who does the Busta Rhymes fast flow, little white kid that was known for that. Not that it matters, but that was his sort of angle. And um, it's going to show you when I'm hosting somebody. So if I want to preview my channel to how it looks for other people, you can go to that right there, preview new offline channel home. You can follow this person that's being hosted or turn notifications on or off or report them. Um, when you go to this right here at hosting, that'll go to that person's channel. But right now, it's still on my channel, as you can see. So down below, you can edit the panels. This is where you first start. You don't have really any of this set up, we'll say, because you just started. Down at the bottom, it's going to show you where you can add a text or image panel. That's the only option. So what you'll do is add an image. And just select one of your pictures that you might have. And then I'm not going to do it because it will create one I have to delete. But you would name the title of that uh, panel that you want. And that's going to show up. But if the image you already have on there already says the title of what it is, don't worry about double uh, giving it a double title. The image link is where you're going to put a URL if you want somebody to click that panel. And it will lead them to whatever you want them to. And then just describe what it is. You can use Markdown, or, um, but no HTML. So make sure you hit Submit so it saves it, in a sense, or you can remove this channel. And however you place them is what it's going to look like when it's done, but depending on the image size and everything for the size of each panel, it's going to fall in different places. So I've taken time to make sure everything looks good and move them around to where the little ones sit on top of the big ones in a good, organized way that I like to see aesthetically. So make sure you take the time to do that. But you would grab at the top where it says panel title, anywhere in the top and move it around. It'll jump between. So again, when you place it here, it's going to look different when they go back to see how it looks as a viewer compared to if you put it here, depending on the size of the panel. By the way, when you're in the editing mode, if you go right here, these are all your extensions that you can use for other people that are ways. They're just cool little extension tools that you can use as a streamer to get people interacting or whatnot. So what I have is a stream of what I stream, the four different things. I've taken the time to type in in HTML. Um, I'm going to just show you. This one is empty, so I'm getting rid of that. That must be the one that I just had. That's why I said sometimes if you forget to put that in there, it'll stay, and then you'd have to delete it. Use one 
asterisk on each side of the word for italic, two for bold on each side, and then three on each side for bold and italicized. And then I do that for certain words. If I want the asterisk to be there and want it to be italicized, um, then I would just do two asterisks on the left side and then one on the right side of that word and it'll show that asterisk as well. So another thing I've been doing is grabbing emojis online. Just look up emoji and ask for you know whatever specific type search for it that you can use inside these as well to add a little more pizzazz, I guess you'd say, to the text inside of here, like this microphone is what I used. Or, and then I italicize certain parts of the word, I bold certain parts, and it just adds to the overall look of it that I like. So I got subscriber benefits to show people why what they would benefit from subscribing to my channel. This is my schedule. One thing I said in another um, tutorial is make sure you have a JPEG of your schedule, the texted schedule, and then what else I use is this extension, which I was talking about just now, which shows I'm about to go live in 10 minutes. Um, it'll you put the calendar um, inside of here you go you can pop out that extension and bring it up here if you wanted to see it separate from that person's stream or whatever we'll go into this and it'll allow you to specify and configure this one by going up here to configure and each extension will give you different settings like for my schedule it'll show what color what days I want and then the time zone and stream um, break if I wanted to add a break in between there so people can get used to my schedule. But I was saying to have three different ways and don't ever give give people the benefit of the doubt that they wouldn't notice or they don't see it. So the more information you have, more apparent, it's just going to be easier for people to find you. So I also put just basic images of no description or anything. I just put a panel with an image of something. Um, this shows my equipment. And again, I put the title here just to separate it from anything else. But if you have it in the panel title, this was the two machines I used, but no description as to what it was. So I didn't want this to be empty. And I put that this is the equipment panel that you're looking at. So right here, I name my computer, the different instruments I use and machines and sound effects, sound packs. And I describe what it is over here in italics. This is my about me, where it's almost like an interview of what I listen to, who I am, my past. This is my Twitter connected through a streaming tool. Um, and it shows what I just posted throughout that day, which i you know been recently posting these uh, tutorials and different things that I've been uh, up to. I try to just keep it prevalent, keep it uh, relevant, post as often as you can just to keep people interacted and remembering you. Um, the Society Discord is what I started to get people outside of my stream to come in and see who I am as a person. And inside my Discord, it's a whole different world that I'll get into on another one and, and then it goes into detail but we're not going to go into that. I also have a milestone which shows the accomplishments that I'm proud of that have been going on like December 1st 2019 was my first stream. This is when I got this many followers. I hit affiliate and I'm about to hit 250 followers as you can see. If you hit the followers tab it'll show you I'm at 230 right now at this time on um, May 7th. So Going back to this right here, after the milestones, we have just another image of my future sidetrack IRL stream that I want, my Design by Humans merchandise, which you can go and they'll take you there. It's another extension. This is just an image of me during a show, and I put the title of what show that was. The Donate, I used to have different panels for each way to donate, but then I realized it's just too much repetitiveness, so I put them all in one. And the links down here below, you can copy and paste and donate that way. And it just, it's easier. It's all in one tab and it's a lot more clean, cleaner. This is my Spotify where you can purchase my music, the YouTube, and it'll, a little description of what my YouTube is about. The Neurotic Music Video, shout out DJ Hurley. And the Patreon and Collides, which are almost like behind the scenes for true fans that want to come and watch or that want to have exclusive things that I provide them if they pay a certain amount for a membership exclusive. Um, I sort of have those on hold until I can put more time into it, but obviously, you know, the more time you put in, the easier you can, the, the faster you can get to sustainability. So Instagram, Reddit, which is going to become its own world, 
of uh, you know people that type about whatever's going on with the show. And Donate is a wish list that I have on Amazon that if people want to invest in the show, they can buy that and get it sent to me. And another thing is have a P.O. box, which I'll get soon, and I'm going to have another panel for a P.O. box because people like to send gifts to you. So remember, that, remember having a P.O. box? When you donate, you can, you can mention that if you donate, that tipping is not necessary. Your presence is supporting me enough. Please tip only if you have it, but it will never be required to participate. Um, as well, the Facebook GitHub is what I put on there for any coders who eventually might want to help me with the stream. That's where they can put all the code, and I can add it and paste it to my URL, uh, paste the URL in my OBS or whatnot. SoundCloud, and then in last image. Um, so that's just to show you my page and what the button over here on channel means, which is going to go to your personal channel. And again, this is hosting somebody. You can click my name and it'll show you a banner. Cl click it again to close that. There's the home, all my past videos, all the clips people have done during the live show is the only time you can clip something. And then your followers. Up here, if you don't see that, it's because you're not affiliate. But once you do, you'll be able to have people click and subscribe to you for 5 10 or $25. You can add friends again. Click that person as a follower to see their page and then turn on notifications for that as well and just to go back over here it's prime loot notifications that you can also use on the last video I mentioned that it's to see who's gifted a sub to you but there's more than that it's gonna be drops or any information you might need to know or updates with twitch but again whispers is for messages you can get bits and then over here is the rest of the settings which I'll go over on the next video but appreciate y'all. Just wanted to go over that real quick on the channel button for Twitch. So make sure you go to twitch.tv slash s sessions. And that's going to be Monday through Thursday. It's a freestyle improv beat making platform. So definitely check that out. And we'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Peace.